everyone, and welcome to Pondo in Miami 2023. I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at the Zero Day Initiative, and I just wanted to take some time and show you around. First of all, you know, you see the room, you know you're here because we got the great sign out front, including TX1 Networks, which is our sponsor for this year's event. So happy to have them as a co-sponsor and uh, very glad to see their involvement. Let's come in the room and check things out. As you come in the room, we've got uh, some highlighted lounge area. We like to have fun in our room, so we wanted to have some really unique seating available for people who want to hang out and check out the contest as we go throughout the day. Uh, we got these uh, rented out, and they're a lot of fun, and they have some great colors. We've got our main stage, which is empty for now, but this is where all of the magic happens. You can see our countdown timer. We have 10 minute intervals, 923 is left on the clock from our last attempt. It took about 35 seconds for Alex Suchet to do a denial of service, so that was pretty cool. We've got a few tables around with a bunch of stickers. We've got a second stage where people can prepare as well. And of course, what event would be an event without a bunch of swag? So we have a whole bunch of t-shirts for men and women in both black and powder blue. I know uh, most of the crew likes the black t-shirts. I like to bring a little color into my life. So we have options. Let me show you the Master of Pwn trophy too, because it's uh, pretty nice. Master of Pwn is the overall winner of the contest. And one of the things they get is this amazing trophy. So this trophy shows that they are the number one team for the event. They also get a jacket that shows that they are the winner. Since we're talking about OT and we're talking about manufacturing, we want you to be extra safe with our high-vis uh, and extra warm. So we got this great high-vis jacket for them to wear. But more importantly, they also get platinum status in our program for 2024, 65,000 points, which also equates to a $25,000 one-time payout. And we are finished with Pwn to Own Miami 2023. And at every Pwn to Own, we are always looking to see who we crown as Master of Pwn. And we have the Masters of Pwn with us right here. We have Yuri and Noam uh, from Clarity Team 82. Pwn to Own is all about owning what you pwn. So we have these beautiful Dell laptops here with the built-in handles, very industrial. So congratulations, guys. Here are two of the seven laptops that you have won. So good job on that. They won. $98,500 throughout the competition and this trophy, which comes with an additional $25,000 bonus as Master of Pwn. And we cannot forget the Master of Pwn jacket. Fantastic work for my Clarity as always. They've been coming here for the last three, three years and they came in to dominate this year. It was very clear as we were going through the registration process that they were gonna have a commanding lead uh, when it came down to the end and that's where exactly where it ended up as, it, as expected. So we're happy to have you guys here. Congratulations on dominating the competition. And uh, again, glad to have you here. Brian, how are we doing today? Doing good. A little tired. A little tired, yeah, that's right. It's been quite a three-day event. We are all finished. We have awarded $153,500 for 27 unique zero days, uh, 15 separate successful demonstrations. That's been great, but I want to back up a little to go even before that, Brian. So before the contest, I want to ask, OPC Foundation was really uh, instrumental in helping us determine the targets. Can you uh, shed some light on that for us? Yeah, we worked with OPC Foundation to actually sit there and decide what scenarios would be interesting for this community and we sat down with them and made a set of rules that would make those scenarios live at the contest and so we're we were happy to have them there they helped us actually work with the various vendors that we were able to bring into the contest and have their targets under test and we also got to work with Aviva. They actually came to us independently wanting to actually get involved in the contest. They wanted to put some new software in there that was on the edge and, uh, and that's what we did and we were have, glad to have them there. Yeah, it's always great when the vendors really participate. It makes it better for the contestants and for us and for everyone. And speaking of uh, participants, TX1 was a co-sponsor for this year's yeah, event. Sure. Uh, we're very happy to have them. What does TX1 bring to the table for us? Yeah, we have a really close relationship with TX1 Networks and we sit there, we wanted to, you know, this is the first time we ever actually brought a non-target vendor as a sponsor into the contest. Uh, and so we actually sat down with them and said, what would be interesting for you to sponsor in the contest uh, and get some visibility in? And then they decided they wanted to sponsor both OPC UA clients and OPC UA servers. So they're actually helping us through the sponsorship to fund part of the, uh, the prize package for these. And we're really happy to have them here this year uh, and helping us guide the contest. 
So we saw some great research over the three days. I know I have my personal favorites, but I wanted to ask Brian, what was your personal favorite exploit that you saw this week? Well, my personal favorite was one from Clarity, and it was actually one of their very last entries. It was against Softing Secure Integration Server. Uh, and they'd been teasing us all week that this exploit was gonna take forever to disclose. And so we actually scheduled this so that it would be over our lunch and we could sit there with them for an hour and a half as they went through all the details of this specific, specific case. And so when we got in there, they revealed to us that they had actually changed six different bugs together, all logic vulnerabilities, to actually gain code execution on uh, the softing server. Uh, and so it really truly was a piece of art. And when that those bugs are disclosed and that blog is out, it's gonna definitely be worth reading to understand the best way to you know kind of look at that attack surface outside of the box. But hey, that wraps up a fabulous Pwn to Own Miami 2023, but we're not done. We're not done with Pwn to Own at least, because coming up in March on the 22nd, we will be in Vancouver for Pwn to Own Vancouver, looking at enterprise applications, servers, and other targets on that stream. And uh, oh, what's, uh, oh, Tesla. Yeah, we'll have some Teslas there. And from what we're being told, we should see some really crazy, uh, crazy exploits on the Tesla if everyone comes through. Yeah, we'll hopefully. see, fingers we'll see crossed. if they, fingers crossed, if they uh, can back up their talk. But until then, this is Dustin Childs and Brian Gorin signing off for the Zero Day Initiative. We'll see you in Vancouver.